everybody. Today we are going to be taking a look to Almost Cut My Hair by Crosby, Stills, Nash and John. We're gonna mean the main part, we're gonna learn, sorry, the main part, uh, two solos of the recorded version, um, different ways to play the chord progressions and also some licks. This is a really cool song to learn how to jam, sing and play at the same time and just to play and have fun. Uh, there are different live versions I've used to learn different different parts for this song and once you learn it here if you do if you like um, the, um, this decide to do it here it would be really good for you to just go and listen to different versions of the song and try to figure out different leaks by ear that's like a really good method of method of training because the song it's an A minor and the leaks are really simple you know, even figure out a solo if you can, just a st a stick to a version and listen to it a bunch of times, you know, you have YouTube to slow the video down, and that's how you start learning songs by ear, it will be really good, you know, um, if, if you do that, it will really, it would really be helpful for you to improve your guitar playing. So with all that said, let's just jump into the song. The intro solo of the normal or classic studio version, the short version, is going to start by this. On the, tenth, on the B string 10, then 8, then 10 again, and high E on the 8th fret. First lick, okay? Then, on the G9, and then 7, and on the D5, and then 7. the 5th fret G and B, 8 on the B, 10 on the B, and then 8 on the high E, and 10 on the high E, okay? Okay, then The intro solo is going to start with this lick. On the B string you play 10, then 8, go back to 10, and 8 on the high E. Then, on the G string 9, and then 7, and on the D string 5, and then 7. Okay? Next phrase. On the 5th fret, G, and then B. 8 on the B, 10 on the B, 8 on the high E, 10 on the high E. Then, 10 on the high E, 8 on the B, 8 on the high E, 8 on the B. Then, 10 to 8 on the B, and 9 to 7 on the G. The last lick five to seven on the D and then on the G nine on the G eight on the B high E on the B on the uh, sorry eight on the high E back to eight on the B ten on the B That is written for the intro solo. Thank you. 
So the main part of the song, the main chord progression of the song, is gonna be A minor, G, and D major. Okay, and there's a lot of improvising, a lot of jamming on this section, on these sections, especially on the live versions of the song. They do a lot of licks on E on A minor. Okay, so that's your main key, that's your go-to notes. Okay, that's your go-to set of notes. Also at the blue note there. Okay. So the chords, you don't want to play this section with open chords, only the D major. So for the A minor, I sh I'll show you different ways to play each chord. One is using a triad on the 5th fret, so you play the top 3 strings on the 5th fret. Okay, every time you play something on this part, on, the, on these sections, you're gonna play it and then immediately kill the sound, at a staccato. So you play all the strings and then you release the pressure on your fingers like this, okay, kind of like a funky reggae feel. So this is the A minor. For the G, you can play G, uh, G string on the fourth fret and, on, and the B and the high E on the third fret. And then you just go and play your regular D major. So on the second fret, G and high E, on the third fret, the B, and also open D, okay? Something that always happen on the D major is using this your pinky to play the third fret of the high E and then remove it. Go back to a D to a normal D major chord. And there's a lot of variations. One is just adding the pinky one time and then remove it. One is added one is to add it two times and then remove it. Like that. One is to add it, wait and then Okay. Okay. So this is one way, or, or well, this is a set of shapes. The other ones are the A minor. You can also play it up here. On the tenth fret, you're gonna play the B and the D, and on the ninth fret, the G. Then the the uh, the well, a substitute for the G major chord. It's playing this. You're gonna play the ninth fret of the D, seven on the G, eight on the B. And then for the D, you play a bar across B, G, and D on the seventh fret. Okay, so. And, where you, and when you're using the bar to do that, you're gonna use your middle finger to play the B on the eighth fret and then remove it. Okay? All the variations you did here, you can also do them here. Okay? Um, also, something I see Crosby do a lot is when he goes to the D major, like the, uh, this version, doing the bar on the 7th fret with his ring finger and playing the D on the A string with his first finger, he uses his first finger to also do a bar on the 5th fret and he uses his ring finger to hammer on and pull off from on the D and also the G, okay, to do a little bit of licks and embellishments, things like that, you know? Another way to play the chord is uh, the A minor, you can play it up here. So 13th fret on the B, on the 14th fret the G and the D. The G uh, major chord you can play it with a bar on the 12th fret across, across B, G and D. And then the D major on the 12th fret the D, on the 11th fret the G, and on the 10th fret the B. And to do that, you're gonna use your finger to play the 12th fret of the G and then remove it, okay? You can also use this shape of the D and use your first finger to do a bar across B and high E on the 10th fret. And add that pinky to the 12th fret of the high E, doing a nine chord, okay? Something I like to do, for example, sometimes is to play first the bass note and then the chord. So when I'm playing here, I play I play first with my thumb the fifth fret of the low E and 
and then the chord. For the G, I play the third fret, and then the chord. And for the D, I play either the open fourth string or the fifth fret of the A. Okay, so like this. Another, another thing you can do is something like this. It's like doing something with the bass notes, so I first play the low E on the 5th fret, then the A minor triad, then I play the low E on the 5th fret again, and then 3rd fret. Then the G, then I play the 3rd fret of the low E again, and then either the open 4th string or the A string on the 5th fret. It's kind of like a a bridge you're building between the chords with the bass notes. Okay, and at the end of each uh, each well time you play the chord progression, you can do a lick on e a, a minor. I'm just playing a unison band. Okay, uh, we're gonna see some licks later, so I stick uh, here for them. And that's everything for the main part of the of the song. Okay, a uh, different ways to play the same chords, different yes, different flavors each time to each time. <laughs> So the second main, so the second part of the song, it's the most consistent part of, of them all. First, we're gonna start by playing a C major chord with G on the bass. Uh, this part is gonna be mostly open chords, okay? So the first chord is gonna be your normal normal C major on the first fret the B, second fret the D, and on the third fret the A. Also the open G and the highest string open too, okay? But you're gonna move your ring finger up one string to play the low E on the third fret. And the pinky is gonna take the place of the of that finger, and it's gonna play the A on the third fret. Okay, first chord, then E minor. On the second fret, the the D and the and the A string. All the other strings are gonna be open, and then A minor. Open A and high E on the first fret, the B string, and on the second fret, the G and the D. Okay, then you have different options. Okay, this is the more, the most, uh, I don't know, how should I say this? How should I say this? But okay, you are gonna play A minor, G, and then F. Okay, so you can play the open versions of those chords A minor, then G. On the third fret, the high E and the low E, the B. On the second fret, the A and the G and the D strings open. And then F on the first fret low E high E and B on the second fret the G and on the third fret the D and the A. Okay. What I hear a lot is this kind of things. So you're gonna play the 12th fret of the high E and 13th of the B. For an A minor, then 12 of the B and 10 of the high E, and then 10 of the B and 8 of the high E, like this. Another option is do is to do it like this. Okay, you're gonna play the D and the G on the 14th fret, the B on the 13th fret, then double stop on the D and the G on the 12th fret and the same double stop on the 10th fret now okay different ways
ways to play the same thing. Then you go to that E minor. Then you're gonna play a D sus4, so your normal D chord, but you're gonna add that pinky on the third fret of the high E. And then normal D. And that would be everything for the second part, second main part of the song. The main, uh, well, the first solo of the short studio version, the classic studio version, is gonna start with this. Okay? You're gonna play the 10th fret on the B. Okay? But I hear it with volumes, volume swell. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your, vo your volume and you're gonna put it on zero. Then you're gonna play the 10th fret of the B and you're gonna slowly turn the volume up okay after you play the 10th fret of the beat then a 8th fret of the high E pull off from 9 to 7 on the G slide down to 5 7 on the D and immediately after that really fast you're gonna do a hammer on from 5 to 7 on the G and play 7 on the G three more times. Vibrato on each time. Then another time you do a slide bend and release. Then 7 on the D, 5 on the A, and then this run. You play 5 on the D, hammer on to 6, and then to 7, 5 on the G, 7 on the G, a slide to 9. So you do the run, you play 5 on the D, hammer on to 6, and then to 7, 5 on the G, back to 7 on the D, back to 5 on the G, and then... 7 on the G, a slide to 9. Okay, then you're gonna play 5 on the D hammer on to 7 and then play 7 3 more times. Then 5 on the D, 7 on the D, Seven on the G, nine on the G, eight on the B. Then this lick, nine on the G, eight on the B, ten on the B, eight on the high E. Okay. You're gonna wait a little bit and then play the tenth fret of the B. Then 8 on the B, 9 on the G. Then 7 on the G, 5 on the D, 7 on the D, 5 on the A. Then 5 on the A, 7, uh, 5 on the D, 7 on the D, 5 on the G. You're gonna wait a little bit and then you're gonna do 7 on the G, 9 on the G, 8 on the B, 10 on the B, back to 8 on the B. Okay. on the 
high E, 10 on the B, 8 on the high E again, 10 on the high E. And then the last licks, that run is going to be 8 on the high E, 10 on the B, 8 on the B, 9 on the G, 7 on the G, 5 on the G, 7 on the D, 5 on the D. You go back to 7 on the D, 5 on the G, 7 on the G, play that again with a bend and release, then 5 on the D, 7 on the D, 5 on the D, 8 on the low E, and slide down. And that would be everything for the first solo. Well, everybody, that was everything for Almost Cut My Hair. I really hope you enjoyed this lesson. I really hope uh, it, this was helpful, helpful for, you, for you and you can have fun playing this song. I'll see you on next video.